Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Danimal Sound. This is Danny Lee. And right now, I'm going to go over a little feature in Pro Tools called Tab to Transient. And that little guy is located up here in the little tools menu area. I've got it highlighted in blue. It's this arrow here pointing to a transient. To some of you, it's a little more self explanatory than others, but that's what it looks like. This is disengaged, and this is engaged. And with that said, I just want to go over a real quick application for Tab to Transient. In this case, I'm going to be using it to eliminate noise and unwanted information from a live recorded Tom tracks to clean up some drums. This right here is my final product essentially after I've done the edits with that. So I'm just going to backtrack here and show you how I arrived at this little snippet. First, we'll take uh, a selection here. Hit Apple H, which is Pro Tools jargon for the heal command, which brings us back to how it originally looked. Just going to zoom in quick here. Pull out some more information just so you can see where this all came from. Going to select my drums, solo the whole kit. If you listen to your left side here slightly at 20 pan, if you have headphones on, it's more noticeable. You'll hear some noise inside the tom track as the drum is playing. Don't need reverb throwing your ear off. So we've got some noise in that tom track. We don't actually hear the tom till this spot right here. So we want to get rid of that stuff just for the sake of uh, being as clean as possible and taking out unwanted noise, essentially. That's all it is. Uh, some of you may be asking why we're not taking the gate approach to this, and I'll tell you why, first of all. Um, that's fine and dandy. If you have more of an old-school approach and want to do that, that's great. Gating can be tricky. Of course, in this case, it's purely logistical, nothing more. I'm not here to be creative with this. It's just getting rid of unwanted noise so we can focus on a clearer picture of, in this case, the drum set. With that said, I mean, gating, you've got, you know, your different release controls and your range settings and all that. So there's a lot more of a creative aspect to gating than just controlling noise like I'm attempting to show you in this quick snippet. So I'm just going to disable my uh, groups here so I can get back to this. And tab the transient. Simply put, when you put this button on here, you can tab through, and Pro Tools will take you to the next transient or spike in your waveform. Much easier to do and more consistently when you have drum tracks because you don't have anything sustained, really, like guitars, bass, etc. So I'm just going to go up here and start this. Let's solo this Tom track and I'll show you what the noise looks like. There is fullness of joy. So as you can see, we've got some full kit bleed in there. Mainly snare and kick in the overheads. And then you will hear some bass and other stage volume from the, from the show itself. So over here, you've got this larger spike, which is the transient of the actual Tom, which is the mic that this is on. And we just want to clean up this noise around here. So we're just dealing with the tom when we're mixing. We're not applying EQ to all this noise that's in the background. If I hadn't seen this track already, I wouldn't necessarily know to just sweep across here and delete this, which you can do. Or what you can do, what I would call shift tab or tab shift. It's interchangeable. Just kind of a name I made up to go along with the function. Nothing fancy. In the beginning here, we have just a flat line, and the song starts. So what you can do is you can tab through here. Two ways, I call them backwards and forwards. I can tab without selecting, and just grab anything there, hit shift and go backwards and take it out. Or I can do the shift tab going forward, 
where I can start outside the waveform here. The shift key, and then as I tab forward, it maintains my selection in, in the uh, forward motion. And that's, that's more helpful if it's like a fresh track and you haven't heard it yet, you don't really know if these are some lighter tom hits here or strictly snare bleed, which they are in this case. So moving along, I know down here that this is the actual tom hit that I'm trying to isolate. So without boring you to death, I'll start back here and just show you the quicker way to do it. If I know that these aren't tom hits, I can just go ahead, select a whole range of that stuff, grab a big selection there, hit shift tab, arrive at that tom hit, and then just hit delete. Otherwise, my personal approach, I would recommend the shift tab so I can just go through and double check things, like a spot check if you will, to make sure I'm not taking out drum hits that I actually need. Eventually you'll notice if you mess that up by hearing them slightly in the overheads and any room mics that are used, but this is just easier to save yourself the trouble. And here we're going up to the final section there where we, we know the uh, where we know the tom track, the tom performance lives. We know that this is a snare hit, not a tom hit. This is the actual snare, or I'm sorry, tom hit right there. So I'm just going to go shift tab, move forward, take that guy out. And these here are just some various tom hits. We've got two toms sharing the same track, so that's why you hear the pitch difference. And just for consistency's sake, I'll, I'll move forward and grab these snare hits and take them out as well. And the cool thing about shift, or I'm sorry, tab the transient, is you might have long stretches like this, where you've got the, just the flat line. He's probably using a gate or something live, and it literally will tab to the next transient. So whether that's you know 10 milliseconds uh, down the line, or you know even 10 seconds or longer, it will go to the next transient. Uh, it's not always accurate to like the zero point so to speak on the sample but it will definitely get you where you need to be and make things a lot easier for you that said I'll just continue here tab to this I know that's a snare hit too tab to the next hit which I know where the toms are doesn't sound too glorious obviously when you solo it but we know that the job is being done And we'll go unsolo this tom track, and this is what this sounds like with the uh, noise cut out. All right, coming up. Here we go. Crazy Crazy and there you have it. How to use tab the transient to clean out some drum tracks. Hope that gets you some uh, more perspective on cleaning out the noise on uh, multi-track drums and whatnot, especially when you have multi-microphone sources playing at the same time. If you have any further questions on this matter, you can email me at me at d-a-n-n-y-l-e-e dot -E co, or just go to the website, which is dannylee.co, d-a-n-n-y-l-e-e dot c-e-o, or follow us on Facebook at Danimal Sound. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy mixing. We'll see you next time. Cheers.